One of the great new features for Structural in Revit 2019 is the addition of a brand new Steel tab in the interface. The Steel tab contains many tools to help in the detailing of your steel connections, such as plates, bolts, welds, and other tools used to easily modify the structural elements to appear just as you need them to. Here I have some bracing that I've added to this model, consisting of two back-to-back -back angles. I want to go ahead and add a plate that will connect the bracing to the girder and column. I'll begin with the plate tool, which puts me into a sketch mode. I'll sketch out a rectangular shape at exactly the size I need. I can even edit the sketch lines using the temporary dimensions after I've placed them. I'll just move the sketch lines over so that there are the plate will be aligned with the face of the column flange. Now I'll complete the sketch and now I have a gusset plate. I can even add a parametric corner cut to chamfer the plate at any dimension. I make both sides one foot and now I get a nice corner cut. Now I'll add some bolts. I do this by selecting the elements that I'd like to connect. Then I select the face of the element I'd like the bolts to be placed on. I automatically enter into a sketch mode that allows me to define the boundary of the bolt pattern. When I finish the sketch, I have a preliminary bolt pattern that is fully parametric. I can change the number of bolts on one side or both sides. And if I need to, I can change the length of the bolt pattern. Here I'm changing it from 1 foot 6 in length to 1 foot 4 and then the spacing in between the two rows of bolts to two and a half inches instead of three. The new steel tab in Revit 2019 will allow for easier parametric detailing of your steel elements.